All right, how's it going today, guys? Want to do this uh, video for uh, 420, of course. It's April 20th. Um, so in the enlightenment of it, I wanted to give a little spiel on it. Uh, 420 is just, uh, once again, uh, a time that was, uh, that was anonymous for people getting together, uh, a band uh, after school uh, of kids would uh, get together around 420. Um, that's really where it kind of came from and just morphed on from there. So not really a whole lot behind it, not uh, some big thing, but it is kind of a code now. So uh, I guess you could uh, say if you're looking in the paper and you see uh, roommate wanted 420 friendly, uh, it's going to mean that, uh, of course, that they're pot smokers and uh, definitely uh, welcome to uh, come. So uh, you'll see a lot of 420 uh, things and that's uh, all the representation for that is. Now, we just did a, a spirit uh, expo, a holistic spirit expo uh, down at the big four buildings here in Calgary. And uh, in, uh, in uh, the spirit of doing that, we had built this board to uh, go through uh, a few different things to get people a little bit more comfortable with uh, cannabis, what it is, um, and a little bit more of a look at the medical side of it. Um, you know, I, I definitely say that uh, that I appreciate all of the questions that I received at the expo. Um, really, we were there to educate and uh, and show people the the, the other face of uh, cannabis. Um, besides just the uh, the party hard uh, side of it, um, you know the relaxed and therapeutical aspects. So, uh, before uh, we go on any further here, I definitely want to show you guys the board here. I'll quickly run you through it of what it is and what it uh, says, but really it's just a little bit of an introduction of, uh, of what's happened in the past. Um, so who's used it, uh, of course, uh, the pottery, uh, it's been used in China for over uh, 10,000 years, so they found uh, remnants of THC on the insides of pottery, meaning that it, they'd kept it and used it. Uh, Queen Victoria, of course, was uh, someone very famous that had used it in the past. Um, as prescribed by our doctor, um, these types of medications here, um, those were also used widely throughout the uh, 1800s and into the uh, early 1900s before uh, prohibition. Um, it was uh, given to her by her doctor, uh, it was something that was quite common at the time. Um, it wasn't later founded until uh, Raphael Meshulam here. Uh, he's a doctor out in Israel that discovered uh, THC in 1964. Uh, and also Adamite in 1992, which is uh, one of the properties that your uh, body naturally makes that uh, is replicable to uh, THC, meaning our body already produces uh, a form of cannabis. Uh, of course, Hemp for Victory, it was used, uh, there was a film made in 1942 uh, showing how it was uh, it was pushed to be grown in 1912 uh, for the war efforts uh, because it was their primary usage of uh, of uh, fabric and and so forth. Uh, very uh, very great commodity that uh, founded uh, the United States and uh, pushed uh, Canada into what it is now today. Uh, also, just going through some of the places that allow it. Uh, there's over 15 states now that allow medical uh, cannabis consumption, and it's uh, been uh, available in Canada since about 2001. Um, how to use cannabis. Now, there's a lot of different ways that people use cannabis. Um, on the side here, we've got a concentrated form that was uh, made up by Rick Simpson, or was made famous by Rick Simpson. Uh, the reason why that is such a great way of uh, taking it as medicine is that it is concentrated form allowing you to take higher doses and yield uh, quicker results. Uh, vaporization is a, a very big one, a very safe and e easy method. Uh, it heats the medicine part or the trichones up to a part where they will uh, vaporize and uh, it will not uh, heat up the plant matter uh, causing you not to inhale uh, additional carcinogens that are unrequired. Uh, of course now it can be uh, made into pill form which is great for people that don't like the taste or smell of it. Um, of course for our connoisseurs out there uh, we all love it but uh, not everyone does so uh, pill form is a great method. Munchies as well, uh, you can bake it right into uh, many tasty foods making for easy consumption. Uh, that will give you a slightly longer lasting effect and it also will not take you as much, to, uh, as much product to reach the uh, desired high. 
Uh, down here, of course, we've got the uh, the same tincture shown above with the uh, what the doctors would have had. Uh, they might have used it as an oil extract or a tincture type extract made with uh, alcohol or glycerin. And lastly is hash, or uh, often referred to as keef. Uh, many di different ways to make that, but once again, it's just the trichomes uh, in a condensed form. <clears throat> what can hemp produce? Uh, of course, come on guys, uh, food, uh, abundance amount of food, rich in protein, vitamins, uh, all 20 known amino acids. Uh, it's a great product to, uh, to eat. Uh, biofuels, uh, environment friendly biofuels so that uh, you know, we're lowering our need on, on uh, gasoline, oil based, uh, or oil based processes. Uh, clothing, many different sorts of clothing, but far more durable than cotton and uh, even denim for that aspect. Uh, lotions and creams, hairstyling products, the hemp line is a, a very big uh, lineup of products now that's international. Uh, just kind of showing that it's an international world out there for, for cannabis. Uh, the money's to be made everywhere. Uh, quarter paneling and, and uh, vehicle. Of course, uh, back in 1941, Ford made a, uh, a vehicle constructed from uh, bio biodegradable uh, cellulose fibers derived from hemp. Um, and not only was it uh, was a made from biodegradable material, it was also powered by hemp ethanol. Uh, just kind of going to show you that, that that hemp seed goes a long way. The quarter paneling uh, as well, high density mold panels. They've even got a new uh, uh, multi no, uh, $250,000 Lotus uh, that's made uh, primarily of hemp. Um, who's using it? Now there's hundreds of thousands of people that use it, but we just want to highlight a few of the, I guess, unwell known and a few well known people. Um, Willie Nelson, uh, of course, uh, Whoopi Goldberg, who's uh, been on the view there for quite a while, heavy advocate of, uh, of medical cannabis. Montel Williams, who's been an MS sufferer for quite a while uh, and has used uh, primarily uh, cannabis. Tommy Chong, another uh, big uh, idol of most of us. Arnold Schwarzenegger, Brad Pitt. We've got many other ones, but these are just to name a few. Uh, diseases wise, guys, uh, we wanted to uh, highlight a few of the big diseases. Um, there's definitely many different things that uh, cannabis can help with. Uh, easing and spasticity of muscles for MS or just any type of muscle pain to, uh, to a lot of uh, neurological disorders. Um, right now, we've, uh, this is all pulled off of Health Canada's website, but we found uh, uh, on there, uh, and if you want to go there, by all means, please, uh, Health Canada. Uh, marijuana if you do a, a Google search on it or Health Canada and you can go marijuana use. Um, but anyways, uh, you can uh, look up their statistics and how they recommend uh, the usage and it's just uh, going through showing that we've found that there's uh, increasing evidence from preclinical and clinical studies that suggest a potential therapeutic role for cannabinoids in Alzheimer's disease. Cancer. Um, not only does it help guys, now this is a big one that a lot of people don't know about, but not only does it uh, help so much with uh, fighting the side effects of cancer, um, taking the radiation treatments and, uh, and uh, having, having your body feel better that way, but now there's uh, scientific evidence to, uh, to prove that it actually reduces the size of tumors, meaning that you can take this before you need to take radiation treatment. So uh, there's definitely more evidence that needs uh, to be researched there, but uh, the, the, the facts are out there, guys. And of course, I'm not uh, really going to go too much on these, but pain and uh, multiple sclerosis. Uh, we've heard uh, so much information about, but uh, that's, that's really a big part of uh, what we've done there. I'm going to uh, try and splice together uh, a little bit more info as well from... Uh, from what we had, do up a, a couple of pictures. I'm really, uh, really apologetic. We didn't get a lot of video of the actual, uh, of the actual expo, uh, but uh, I've definitely got some uh, great guests that were uh, that were there with me that made the uh, day a lot possible. Uh, great representation and uh, support from a lot of our uh, head stores out there. Uh, special thank you to Bongs and such, uh, Next Level. Uh, hemp roots uh, who all donated in making this possible. Uh, as well as a, a reminder guys that on May 7th there's a national or uh, international 
uh, March Day for Liberation of Cannabis. So please make sure that, uh, that you're getting out there and, uh, and promoting, uh, promoting cannabis on uh, May 7th. It's held in 300 uh, cities across the country and towns from uh, Lethbridge to Quebec to all over the place. So please make sure you get out. And lastly, but, uh, but definitely not finally, is make sure you get out and vote on May 2nd if you're old enough. Uh, if you're not, please make sure that you're talking about it with other people. But this is a day that can really change uh, the future guidelines of, uh, of our nation and uh, you know, really taking a special look into people um, over in the Middle East that are fighting for their rights to, to, to live um, peacefully is, is really, uh, really under fire. There's no democracy there and people here seem to have too much democracy that they don't even care about it. So please make sure that you utilize our, uh, our voting system. Get out and vote on May 2nd. Do a little bit of research. There's a great uh, tool out there that you can search uh, Google. Uh, it's called Vote Compass, which will help you figure out which party uh, you think would be best suitable for you. But uh, definitely be aware there are parties out there that would like to abolish even uh, med medical cannabis or keep it extremely difficult for, from patients that are suffering from debilitating diseases, can uh, cancer or MS, that uh, find it extremely hard. And that's why Ontario is faced with this, uh, this, uh, this decision to override the Health Canada system and make it easier or actually legalize if Health Canada doesn't make it easier for medical uh, patients. So please guys, uh, if you get a chance, get out there, make your, uh, make your vote known, uh, and uh, peace, happy 420.